Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Pisces. Hello, Pisces. So, I did some late night readings last night. It was storming, it was lightning. I feel like a lot of things are coming out, but I don't want, the sun is out. Okay, this um, full moon in Sagittarius energy is still here. Things are being balanced out. Okay, heartache and loss and solitude here. Take time out to rest to retreat. Okay, listen to God. Okay, God is speaking. Just in the midnight hour, allow God to show up and to speak to you. That's very important at this time. So let's just see what comes out. I love this energy that we're in right now as these karmic cycles are finally coming to a close. You can see people are still making um, their their attempts to keep you stuck, but there's still so much beauty that's happening for the collective. You want to make sure that you tap into that. Um, I've, I've been making decisions even for the channel, of course, since coming back after being gone a little over a month. Um, I think that our focus should be more on manifestation and mindset and not so much the magic, the spell work, and all those other things. Look at this. What came out? <laughs> Four of Wands. What makes you happy within, around you, your household, your family, your friends? What are you building um, foundation and achievements here? What are you trying to achieve? You have the number eight here. This is the Eight of Wands. Yeah. Yeah. Solitude trapped in fear here. You could be afraid of having success in your partnerships when it comes to growth. I don't even think this card is supposed to be here. It's not. But here we have joy and stability and triumph, wisdom. Your, your wisdom, the sacred wisdom and knowledge that your soul carries is really trying to make way for you at this time for you to move forward into very successful partnerships so that you can achieve the things that you want in life you want to make sure that you are of course with the wisdom card here that you're listening to god listening to your higher self most importantly here and you may need to get yourself into a bit of um not in this isolation is not bad but I always say, make sure that if you're in hermit mode and you're isolating yourself, that you're not hiding, okay? It's one thing to intentionally go within because you want to focus on healing and introspection. And it's something totally different when you decide that you are running from the world or you're running from yourself and you're hiding. You don't want to run and hide right now. You have victory and success with the Ace of Swords here. This is saying you're about to start seeing some things clearly that you've been in some type of mental entrapment about. It's going to become clear to you what needs to happen or where you need to go. God is trying to speak to you and tell you something. All right. So, again, don't be afraid to take time out for yourself to figure out exactly what needs to happen. The sacral chakra is here. The sacral chakra, that's like reproductive here. You're you're fertile with some type of ideas here. All right. Um, now I just saw the five of wands. Sacral chakra. Some of you guys have no idea how curious people are when it comes to your relationships. OK, I feel that there are definitely people who have missed out on an opportunity to be with you. This is posing challenges for certain people in your life because they're feeling very defeated, um, very conflicted. And you want to make sure that you're not allowing that energy to be projected onto you at times. Yeah, the shadow. Someone is lurking in the shadows. They're trying to project a lot of their energy onto you because they see that you are moving into this time of great abundance. You guys are cutting out partnerships and alliances with individuals who don't serve your greatest and highest good and you're moving forward these people can feel you moving away they they're feeling this detachment okay and when you're detaching people know that they can't actually dictate and control you they're very tempted i feel like your light is aggravating a lot of the 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 demons that are around you and it's a good thing too because it's also showing you the things that are within yourself that are voids and vices that you need to work on so that you can have more joy and stability and security in your life you have here the waiting game transformation and a union so there's perhaps some type of partnership or connection 
um, whether it's business, romantic, or whatever that is trying to come into union. But the reason why you had to wait is because you needed to see the truth about a situation here that's not a reciprocal relationship. You do have a lot of reciprocity coming in. But there was a tower that had to happen and you had to focus on a lot of self-love and healing. For some of you, you or a person that you are connected to or about to connect with has really been trying to get over some type of ending in their life. This could have been job loss. It could have been the ending of a relationship. Someone could have had to sever ties with um, people in their family or in their environment. But someone is definitely moving away from situations that no longer serve them. And it's interesting because... I do see where a lot of people, they're coming out of a karmic cycle and they're going right into something brand new. And you're going to feel like this, this energetic shock because you're moving into something that's very new and it's good for you, but you still kind of have residue from something old because this new energy is coming in so fast. That it's gonna, you're, you're gonna really second guess yourself like, wow, is this really, is this really happening or is this really meant to happen like this? Um, try not to allow yourself to self sabotage. Okay, crown chakra here, yeah, crown chakra. But you're, you're, it's becoming very clear here. There's a spiritual awakening or this enlightenment that's happening. You have the hangman here, the destiny card. Um, will of fortune and then the crown chakra so something had to happen in due time for you to see the truth about who you are who you're becoming where you've been where you're going um it's right now we're in gemini season so it's like you're seeing another side of yourself but you're also seeing the other side of people who are around you. you're seeing the ugly truth of things and it's harsh it's it's hurtful but it's necessary Okay, it's necessary because look, you, wow, oh my goodness. You have the hope card here, fertility, which is divine feminine card, the empress, and then authority, that's divine mask. And so the empress and the emperor are coming out together. And like I said, someone here is remembering love. You're remembering love. Your soul is going to remember when you were in love. There's a waiting game here. A transformation had to take place for this spiritual union to come in and what is behind all of it is someone is very jealous and envious of the connection that you have with someone and spirit is saying you had to become aware of the confusion and the illusions that have been around you for so long that has been stopping you from having wish fulfillment happiness in this new beginning just it's real clear spirit just came in and had to clean house because there is a, a connection here, a partnership, a business partnership, romantic relationship, whatever. Something here is absolutely meant to be. But you've had some snakes in your camp. You've had some squares in your circle. You or someone that you are connected to or about to connect with had to clean house first. And this could be somebody maybe saying, well, I've been by myself. But energetically, someone was still holding on to an old energy or being held by an old energy. Something had to just be cleared completely out. Four, four, four. Yeah, your angels are protecting you heavily from something. They're protecting you really from yourself. I feel that a lot of people have been overcoming a very um, difficult karmic cycle that was rooted in codependency some someone's darkest fear may be being alone this could be you the person you're connected with or the people who are being left behind they have been very very afraid of being alone these people are terrified to not have access to you or your energy but see you still have to go ahead and, and close up shop with this situation and move forward you have joy and stability and feeling alone this is two very opposite like energies like someone here is codependent and someone is very independent and the darkest fears here someone is afraid that they're always going to have to be independent while someone is afraid of being independent you're separating yourself yeah for success and growth these challenging times also, we're teaching you the importance of being vulnerable, giving and receiving. There is strength in being vulnerable. You have a healing journey that's beginning. 
and, and for some of you, if this is another person that's entering your life, it's going to be rooted in vulnerability, um, open communication, you know, being able to, to say what you know, what you don't know, what you feel, what you don't feel, um, learning how to communicate, learning how healing. There's a, there's a part in your journey where you are learning so much about what has kept you from seeing the truth. Once you see the truth, there's another journey that begins. A lot of you now, you've done a lot of work to tear down things. Now you're moving into a season where you have to do a lot of work to build. And you're not even rebuilding. You're starting completely over. You're not rebuilding what was already there. You're starting something brand new. Some of you, especially like in love, you're not rebuilding with a person from the past. You're starting completely over. You cannot erase the memories, but that energy still has to be cleared out. And you have to be careful of how much you think about the past and replay those memories because if you keep doing that, it's going to keep you in that same energy. Thinking about the past is going to cause you to self-sabotage because you're going to remember how the past left you hurt, wounded, or whatever the case is. It's time now for you to bloom and to blossom wherever you're planted. By giving and receiving, being open to communicating your truth. To yourself, to the most high, and to the person or the people that God sends into your life. It's going to be challenging, but it's going to signify growth. It's very, very hard after a long, difficult cycle in life to be open again. Nobody really talks about how difficult it is to go out there and allow yourself to trust. To allow yourself to love and be loved after being hurt, broken, betrayed. Especially by those who you love the most, your friends, your family, your lovers. Your open and hidden enemies are being revealed to you now. And God is still saying, you still have to go out and spread the light. You still have to go out and spread love. You still have to allow a person in your life to, to love you. Clarity uh, and belief here. This is like the Ace of Swords energy. Believing. That you can actually bloom and blossom again. Crown chakra changing how you think about situations. How exactly are you interpreting things? How are you analyzing things? How do you evaluate situations? How is your discernment? All of those things is very, very important. Here's the control card. I feel like some people are, you're going to have to practice a lot of control and understanding that everything doesn't deserve a response. You don't have to confront every single situation. There are some things here you're, you're awaiting results. And what you need to do is just take time out to just breathe because there's balance that's coming in here. There is a situation for some of you. It's happening around you or behind your back or whatever. It's more so happening energetically. You don't have to confront it. it, it it's kind of just going to fade itself out. It actually, by picking and choosing your battles. Why, you know, actually, let me say this. Because my mentor told me this. Um, a few weeks ago. <laughs> I was saying, you know, I'm trying to work on picking and choosing my battles wisely. And she stopped me and she said... There is no battle. <laughs> when you change your mindset from thinking that there's always a battle, there is no battle. There's nothing to fight. Get out of your mind that you're in battle. Stop identifying with being the wounded warrior. Because there's always a part of the wounded warrior that identifies with being the victim. And here you have refusing to see. Some people are refusing to see. Wow, look at this. Refusing to see. Two, two, two. Two, two, two. You have refusing to see. Sacral chakra and spiritual wings. Refusing to see. Either you're refusing to see just how great you are. Or someone in your life at some point was refusing to see just how great you are but see your dreams are coming true 
and you're receiving well-deserved reward. This is two number nines. So something here is for sure at the end of a cycle and your heart is open with the trust card here. It is safe for you to open your heart. The people who are coming into your life, they're being brought in by God and they're being watched and monitored by the angels. But I feel like God is saying, you can trust this. And th this has been coming out every other day. You can trust this. But it starts with you understanding that you have to be able to trust yourself first. Can you trust yourself? How do you feel about your own personal decision making? You know, are you going out in the world up in arms thinking that everyone is against you? You're going to go into some rooms thinking that a lot of people are against you and they're not. And in that moment, you're going to sabotage yourself and future opportunities. Every person is not out this paranoia. You're going to have to condition yourself now that you're out of the storm to be cautious, of course, but you don't have to be paralyzed by fear and stuck living in uh, under a rock because that's really what your enemy wants you to do because if that's the case, you will never go out and spread your wings. There is an honest person here whose heart will be open to you. Yep. Oh my goodness. Ace of Pentacles, Three of Swords, Ace of Swords, the Two of Cups. This Three of Swords here is here. This is being able to tell someone. You know how a lot of people after like a bad breakup, they're like, well, I don't want anybody to know what I went through because they may use it against me later. No, you're going to have a partnership here with a soulmate whomever counterpart business whatever where you're going to be able to op openly discuss what has broken you what has hurt you to whatever do you, i'm not saying you have to tell all your business but sometimes it actually works for you to communicate what has happened you don't even necessarily have to communicate what happened to you but you need to be able to openly communicate the reason why you have boundaries and this Ace of Pentacles is you valuing yourself enough to say, I won't allow certain things because of what happened in the past. I don't have to explain to a person exactly what happened, but I just know that I've gained wisdom, Ace of Swords. I've gained clarity on what I want and what I don't want. And someone is going to be able to match their energy. They're going to say, oh, well, yeah, I don't, I don't want certain things either because... They have their three of swords. Yeah. Before this ace of pentacles is this three of swords. Some of you could be connected to someone and you could be having communication issues because underneath it is still this three of swords energy. But this is what's blocking the ace of pentacles. This is what's blocking the big offer, judgment, and the hierophant. Someone here is going to have to have a, a, a wake up call and get out of your head. It's like God is speaking, saying, hey, wake up. You're going to have to look over your past and have a bit of compassion about it and see that whatever happened, it was meant to happen the way that it happened. It gave you the strength and the courage that you need to move forward. No need to hold on anymore to what is not serving you. There's peace, balance, and harmony here for you now. Accept it. Accept the peace, balance, and harmony and manifest what you want. You've been manifesting peace, balance, and harmony. So stop holding on to what no longer serves you. Oh, wow. Look at this. The Four of Wands and the Lovers is here. The cards that fell out, though, was the Ten of Wands, releasing the baggage and the Tower. The universe is coming in to clear out all of the baggage because they want you to have this partnership, this union, this connection. They want you to have it. You've been indecisive about it, juggling a lot of different things. But the universe is coming in and saying, I want you to have options. I want you to have the life that you always dreamed of. It's not a fantasy. It's not a game. It's not a test. No, you dreamed of having a certain life and manifesting this because God gave you that dream. Unfortunately, 
there's just chaos and conflict from things perhaps from your childhood or your own inner child wounds, whatever the case is, but it's time for you to really go out and celebrate. It's time for you to know nine of pentacles that you work very hard to go within the, to, to learn things about yourself. And yes, there's a completion that's coming here that's leading to the truth being exposed about this toxic mindset, these bad habits, these bad people in your life or whatever. And what you've gained now is stronger discernment. This is your happy place. Being in the energy of the high priestess. Being in this place of knowing and understanding. Truly what makes you happy. But you had to come face to face with what really was hurting you. First. Your dreams are coming true. You deserve this. And you have to know that you deserve it. Anything else? This is real um, straight to the point. Yeah. The moon card. There's still some more shadow work here of you taking action even as a wounded warrior. You may still be a bit afraid, but happiness is here. Again, let go of any type of victim consciousness that you have, knowingly or unknowingly. You can change the narrative of your story. The Queen of Wands is here. And the Emperor. Why is the Queen of Wands and the Emperor here? And the Ten of Pentacles. Wow. So some of you are really manifesting um, a connection with someone that's going to lead to a lot of long-term stability and security. This Queen of Wands is a very powerful manifester. There's a feminine out here who's for sure manifesting a divine masculine. Yeah. You're turning your back on what doesn't serve you and you're working hard right now to heal yourself. To manifest, you're going out in the world now and you're choosing to be very truthful, very open, honest, authentic. You're communicating your needs, your wants, your desires. You're opening up your heart. And this is going to bring in everything that you want. All of your dreams are going to come true. It's a well-deserved reward that you're going to receive. Yeah. So don't miss out on a magical opportunity by staying here in this energy too long of lack. Feeling left out in the cold. You're needing to let go of that because truthfully everything is fine. Although it has taken you a long time to have this passion new beginning. Just as quickly as you want to go towards a new beginning. Somebody wants to come towards you. All spirit was doing was waiting on you to walk away from what did not serve you. And I feel like you fought a good fight here with the five of swords. And now new love is here. But this new love comes because of you loving yourself. Good stuff. Good stuff. We can make this real short and sweet because it's simple. Love yourself. Accept these ending. Wow. Death card here and the temperance card. Something is ending and then balance and harmony is coming right in. And here's an offer. Something small is about to gain momentum. It's coming in. Stop crying over spilled milk and go ahead and take a leap of faith. Look at this. The page of cups, the knight of cups. It turns into the king of cups. Something that you manifested is about to finally pick up speed and gain a lot of momentum because you're finally putting an end to whatever this stronghold has been in your life. The four of pentacles. Something here has been holding on to you, holding you back. You've been afraid to let love in or to move forward with a, a business idea or partnership. Spirit is saying just let it go. Let go of this stress. You may not be sleeping well, having headaches, trying to come up with some type of plan or strategy. Yeah, but there's luck on your side here. Someone here is going to reveal that they've been wearing a mask. This mask card, we're in Gemini season. Someone here, you're going to finally see that something is inadequate. Something here needs your attention. You need to see that something in your life is not what you thought it was. And you don't need to be stubborn. Or you're dealing with a person around you that's very, very stubborn. You need to release that energy. Depression and, and, and um, paranoia here. 
commitment. Yeah, somebody here, there's been some type of third party interference. This could be a friend, family member, lover, ex-lover. Somebody here has been in the background. They're wearing a mask. And I feel like you've been advised to leave something or someone alone or to leave them behind. You're feeling this paranoia by keeping the door open to someone. Pay very close attention to how you feel when you go towards certain people or you communicate with certain people. Just the thought of a certain person. It's like all of this stress is here. You're strategizing on how to receive like this reward to tap into this, this favor or this fortune in your life. You're going to have to put an end to this person that's coming into your life with this very selfish, manipulative, arrogant-like behavior. Someone is afraid to no longer have access to you. And they're trying to keep you in some kind of contract. This could be someone in your family. You could be daydreaming and hoping to have a family. Or someone is daydreaming or hoping to have a family with you. But it's very challenging. It's very challenging because of this third party energy. But someone is for sure faithful. They're loyal. They're committed. They want to make a vow to you. To be by your side and, and not to leave. But there's definitely a stronghold. Someone is trying to keep a person from coming towards you or you're afraid to go towards a person or accept an offer. This is because someone else is stealing your energy. That shouldn't be there. Um... I just, um, <laughs> this is so, like, short and sweet. I feel like, like, there's more to say, but I don't think there's really much else to say. <laughs> I really don't. I'm just like, uh, <laughs> no need to drag this out. It's, it's simple. What you need, what your heart truly desires is here. Or it's coming in. You just need to accept it at this point. Just accept it. That's all you really have to do. Just be open to it. And for anything that's in your energy that you know is causing you any type of disturbance, any type of upset, just let it go. It shouldn't be there. Your body is, is becoming sensitive and your third eye is open enough to really show you that, hey, you need to leave certain places, people, places, things, and situations along. For some of you, this could be a job. You know, it's like something is giving you some type of anxiety. If you go around a person and you feel anxiety, you pull up in the parking lot to your job and you have anxiety, that's your body telling you. You're burnt out here. You're sick and tired of being sick and tired. You're tired of having sad news, hearing sad news. Burnout is here. This is clearly stating that it's time to let something go. You also may want to pay attention too to the fact that when you get when you tell certain people your business all of a sudden if afterwards you're receiving a lot of bad news, you may want to be careful of who you are sharing details of your life with. People are plotting on individuals who are just gaining God's favor at this time. There's a lot of toxic situations and people that you need to purge. Because these toxic situations, people, places, things, or whatever, it's going to cause you to have a toxic mindset. Where you think that all relationships are bad. You're going to associate trauma with love. Make sure you're keeping control of your life. Make sure that you're, you're taking care of yourself. You're not allowing other people's problems to leave you burnt out. This is what the enemy wants to do so that you will miss your opportunity. Single life. This is the time to work on yourself. Yeah, you're a very rare fine pink diamond. Death card here. There could be a, an end to your single life coming as well. You're probably going to eventually meet that one of a kind person. Like someone is going to find you very rare. 
I'm telling you, someone here is for sure manifesting their ideal counterpart. The emperor came out with the ten of pentacles. But right now, you could just be the emperor. You could be, you know, single, self-sufficient, and abundant. Good news is coming, though, about a rare gift. Someone has a rare gift, or they feel like you're a rare gift. Hot mess. <laughs> Someone is in the background. Um, they're feeling very miserable about the fact that you're receiving good news. Yeah, because someone is at a crossroads. Someone had to make a choice. Wow. About who they were going to go into a commitment, possibly a marriage with. Someone has made a choice to leave behind the person that they felt had a toxic mindset that was causing them to feel very burnt out. And they're going into a single life where they're now seeing that there's a lot of people out there who are a vibrational match. They can, you or whoever this is can have what they want. Someone is starting to see that, oh, by getting away from certain people when they go out in the world, they're attracting good news and offers and opportunities. It's all about your environment. Yeah, someone was in a very cold and toxic situation. There was no real love there. You have here the unseen card. Somebody wasn't seeing the full picture. Somebody wasn't seeing that someone here did not have good motives or intentions. But you're also about to realize, too, that while in between worlds here, although you may feel burnt out, tired, or bored, your angels and guides are working behind the scenes to make sure that you receive the blessings that the enemy was trying to blind you from seeing. You may have been stuck, like I said, between worlds here. Maybe it's time to take some time out for um, a bit of healing, shadow work. You may be choosing to be alone right now. It's like you need to recharge, reset, recharge. This transition does require patience, but simply by showing God that you're willing to be patient and resilient and persevere through this you're going to receive a huge huge blessing after all of these delays some of you you have a connection that has for sure been blocked by a karmic person you have man here and the devil you could have a part of a, a man in your life this person is very codependent this person could have bad habits they could be stuck in their shadow Or this is a man who has had bad habits and been stuck in their shadow and they're finally about to close this cycle of their life out and step really into this leadership role. Mm -hmm. However it resonates. People, it's just time to... Well, the ghosting card, it almost came out. Either you have someone in your life that you're, you're about to ghost and walk away from or someone is coming into your life shortly after they walk away from something completely yeah yep answers and love offers here and potential so somebody here is walking is is finally closing out a karmic cycle for good i mean and it, it's it's final it's over it's done and this was this was what was missing some of you you have a person where you're like, well, I don't really feel safe with working with you or taking things to the next level because I know there's still someone in the background. Maybe they still had some kind of business affairs or something with another person. Somebody is about to show and prove to you that no, they really want to make an offer to you. They want to have a partnership. They want to grow and expand. And they're coming to, to realize that, yeah, the potential that they see in being with you, working with you or whatever, it's worth them letting go of anything that is keeping them in any type of toxic cycle. Someone is for sure seeing the truth about a person that they love, respected, cared for and sort of had on some type of pedestal at, point, at some point. This could be a lover, friend or a family member. Somebody is seeing the truth that 
someone just doesn't have their best interests at heart or in mind. And once they see that, it's like, okay, now they're ready to move forward. So this Sagittarius, full moon and Sagittarius energy is bringing great transform transformation because someone is putting it in. Uh, uh, it, it's something here is, is finalized, it's over, it's done. And I feel like the angels have been in the background making sure that something is completely over, it's cleared out, it, it's canceled, it's deleted so that someone can have a clean slate. Like I said, this is not rebuilding because you're not going to take any of the materials from a past situation that wasn't working for you to, to build a new house on top of it. This is you moving away from something completely, just starting over, turning your back. Going out into the world, shining your light, just being happy. But you, somebody here had to see the truth. There's some kind of deception or betrayal here with someone close. You could have lived with this person before. Like I said, definitely could be a lover, family member. This person was causing a lot of burdens. They was causing, you were rowing the boat and this person was was poking holes in it in the, the, the whole time. If this is going to be hurtful, but it's necessary because it's going to allow someone to move on and not be stuck in limbo. You're, you're not going to be stuck in limbo about this situation at all because you're just going to know, oh, that person really, really had bad intentions for me. It's hurtful, but I mean, you don't ever, like I said, you don't ever have to look back. This was a tower that needed to happen. I feel like somebody is just like, they they feel it all over their body. There's something dealing with a person or a job or a situation. Something about it is just, it's unfair. It's wrong. Yeah. That's going to close this cycle out. I like it. I really do. It's hurtful to have to remember that, you know, you can no longer share your life with someone, whether it's a friend, family member, lover, or whomever, and you will carry those memories. But in carrying those memories, you won't forget the heartache and the loss that came with it. So God is saying now, well, I'm just going to send you a new love. First of all, I'm going to show you that you still need to love yourself despite whatever happened with another situation but the emperor and the empress came out together in spiritual union so a lot of people are just leaving these karmic soulmates behind to go into their kingdom marriages to be with the person that god has actually selected for you and this is going to require that you move beyond all um of the obstacles and the, the challenges that have been there but you needed those obstacles and challenges for this ace of swords clarity to see the truth so that when you go now and you make partnerships and alliances with people, you won't find yourself in partnerships and alliances with people who will actually try to sacrifice you for their own personal gain. Because that's what happened here. Someone tried to sacrifice someone for their own personal gain. It, it was the, the love turned into hate. Hatred. It's a very thin line between love and hate. And somebody, they showed you just how thin the line was. Somebody is for sure, for sure saying, though, like, I'll never go back to this situation. Or I'll never deal with something. Somebody has shown their, their, their ugly, ugliest colors. Better you know now than later. Okay. Um, let's pull one of our... I haven't pulled a Moonology card in a long time. At the bottom of the deck, it's a time for healing. Wow, I just looked and I see in this other deck. This is another Moonology um, deck. It's not called the Moon the Moonology deck, but anyway, first quarter Moon in Sagittarius. Believe in your good luck. Wow, full Moon in Sagittarius. See the bigger picture. And first quarter moon in Libra. Keep your heart open. Heavy Sag energy. Look at this. Last quarter moon in Sagittarius. Practice gratitude. 
Keep your heart open for Libra. That's justice. Keep your heart open. You're going to receive karmic justice and love. But believe in your good luck and see the bigger picture. Something here happened for a reason. What do you need to release? The heartache, the pain, the memories of love that just didn't work out. The memories of the failed relationships. Release it. And remember to just keep your heart open. Because someone wants to bring you harmony. And it's saying it's time now for you to take action. It's time for you to take action and release yourself from this fear. Wow. At the bottom here, a new romantic cycle begins. I've been talking about the number 10 a lot lately. 10, the 10th month will be October. So something around um, Virgo, but definitely Libra season. A lot of you are going to experience a very, very romantic cycle in your life. Yeah, a time for healing. It still came out. Look at this. Leave the past behind. <laughs> cool your emotions. Don't even let something... Honor your feelings, but don't let a situation get the best of you. That was meant to break you. Don't let it get the best of you. Like I said before, there is no battle. You've already won the battle. Because someone or something has been revealed to you there's nothing else to fight you get to walk away with your pride your dignity and you should use your strength to just build something beautiful there's nothing else here to fight <laughs>